spent six hours today researching how to install coilovers. I'm um, not gonna lie, I'm very nervous right now. So these are the BC Racing sway bar end links. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> this is nice. The time has come for me to attempt to lower a car for the very first time. I'm going to try to install the BC Racing BR Series coilovers. These were made for the first gen BRZ and FRS. Before I jack the car up, I'm gonna try to do as much prep as I can. I already took out the little cart from the back. Okay, this is the left side. I just kind of yanked it out. And there's this little clip that was holding it in. It's approximately six and a half inches of ground clearance right here. So I'm gonna try to make that about five and a half, maybe five and a quarter. It looks like it's four and three quarters inches from the top lip of the wheel to the bottom of the fender. In the rear, I'm getting four and seven eighths. On the coilover itself, this is the front right. We have three collars along the shock absorber. We have this one, this one, this one. According to the instruction manual, this top one, which is called the lower seat spring, these two are set from the factory. So all we have to do is loosen this one up down here. It didn't take much to loosen it. And I am now going to attempt to set my ride height. This is the front left. I'm just double checking right now to make sure that this is tight up here for the preload. And it is. I'm gonna do one final measurement to make sure both of the fronts are equal. Next is the damping. That means how soft or how hard you want your like suspension to be. Now these are 30 way adjustable. So I'm gonna turn this all the way over to soft. Right there, it stopped. And then I'm gonna turn 15 clicks in. One. I'm gonna start there, and if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll switch it up. It's about 24 hours later now. Last night, I did the front right corner. It took me about four hours, but I learned how to do it, and I feel pretty confident now, so I'll show you how to do this side. I already broke these lug nuts before I lifted the car, so they should come off pretty easily. Sadly enough, this install marks the first time I've ever taken off a wheel, too. She's already loose, so I know it'll come right off. Here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the ABS sensor, uh, and then disconnect the brake line. You have to unscrew that. I think that's a 12 millimeter. These, I think they're supposed to be 19 millimeter, but I can't find that, so I'm using a three quarters. And then we have two more bolts right here. I believe these are 17s for the sway bar end link. There's one back here. And then we have the three 12 millimeter bolts. Oh, there we go, that wasn't too bad. Here we go. I did not loosen that up prior to filming this. That just came off very easily, actually. Now I'm actually gonna take my torque wrench with the three quarters, which is supposed to be a 19, I believe. I'm gonna break these two bolts. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. There we go. Ah. I'm gonna take off the sway bar and link bolts. I wasn't actually able to get it out last night until after I undid these three 12 millimeters up there. Okay, so this is top and that's bottom. Now I'm gonna take these bolts completely off. Oh wow, I can just use my fingers. Oh, I should not have done 
arm day. I did my very first arm day in like two months, two days ago. It's not working out well for me. It's top. Okay, there we go. I really don't feel comfortable just letting this hang. This sway bar end link is like really in there. Just like last side. Taking off two of these 12 millimeter bolts. The only thing holding this up right now is the sway bar end link. So I can just pull it right off. Here we go. Let's do a size comparison. Front left to the other front left. That's a pretty big difference. By the way, these coilovers come with some pretty nice hardware already on them. Yeah, these sway bar endlings are very stubborn. And last night I had no idea what to do with the one that came with the BC kit. I tried looking online, finding answers. I couldn't find anything that made me feel comfortable enough to put them on and at what height to adjust them to. So first thing tomorrow morning, which is Monday, I'm gonna call BC Racing myself and just ask them like, hey, what the frig is up with these sway bar end links? The last thing you need to do is transfer over one thing from the stock suspension. We have this little clip. This little thing might be one of the most difficult parts of this install, dude. You had to push in on either side to pinch them together. And yeah, it's gonna go like that. Take off the little bolts before you throw it up there. My left hand is gonna throw it up. And with my right, I'm gonna thread one of these bolts in. Oh. And it actually twists pretty easily. This is one of the more difficult parts. You probably can't see, but it's resting on my knee, and I got that bottom one through. Here's our stock sway bar end link. I'm gonna put the top through first. That's the one that I couldn't get in last night. Giggity. With only one bolt in, you can push this around a little bit, because these are at kind of an angle. But when you tighten them down, make sure that the washer right here is flush with the plate on the coilover. To finish these off, you either need a deep socket or a ratcheting wrench. I loosen this bolt up right here so that this has a little bit of wiggle room. And now I can move this around a little bit and make sure that this is as flush as possible so I can thread that on. These ones in the front are gonna be set to 114 foot-pounds of torque. So this is why you need your torque wrench. We're almost there, boys. Snap this thing back in. This is all put together. The only thing I have to do now is tighten these up. I'm not gonna mess with the camber right now. This is my, remember, this is my first time lowering a car ever. I think I have a pretty good idea of what 17 foot pounds is. Basically what I can bench press. Whoa! Holy crap. I, I'm pretty sure I will end up lowering it a little more. But for right now I think this is a great start. And obviously these haven't settled yet but I can fit two fingers at kind of an angle in there, right? In the back, oh my God. I can fit four fingers perfectly straight. I have a wheel chalk under the front left tire. Now that we're back here, we're gonna take off these three nuts. Yeah, this is a 17 right here. I forgot to show you one bolt, the little end link right here. There's another 14 millimeter bolt right up here. Hey neighbor, did you find the problem? Ah, uh, there's no problem. It's uh, I'm, I'm just installing some new parts. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, how, how's it going? I'm good, doing good. My name's George. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, thank you. My name's Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. Hey. Nice to meet you, George. Nice to meet you. What about this little guy? That's Levi. Levi. Hi, buddy. Uh, he's adorable. Thank you. And she is out. Time for a size comparison. That's what she said. We're dropping a good amount, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. Whoa, easy there, bud. Uh, yeah, this is probably the part where you need a second set of hands. Hey, babe. Yeah. I need your help. Vivian, get up here right now. Thanks, babe. Is that it? Uh, well, I'll need help on the other side too. Don't go to sleep yet. I've been hearing little critters in these bushes, babe. That's why I want to get rid of them. I've been hearing stuff like shimmying around in there. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but I used it. Mm. Scrummaging around. I got the first one through actually pretty easily. It's hanging a little low, huh? What the f I don't remember seeing this in anyone's YouTube video, man. I'm showing you this though. Ah! Here's an idea. How about you don't put that bolt through first like I just did. I loosened those back up quite a bit. <laughs> You can expect to have kind of a rough time with that one, but I got it in, I just muscled it in. Oh yeah. I don't know why everything feels so much harder for me. I'm really not mechanically inclined. My YouTube channel is for your everyday Joe, who just doesn't know. Day three, this is where we're at. I do need to thank Brandon Levon and Ben Lovrien. They were a huge help to me. I've been like FaceTiming them. Last night I was working on that one and the problem I was running into right at the end was that this wasn't going into place. It wasn't going back into the actual sway bar. Uh, it was like way up here and there's no way to bend this because this was in place on this side into the sway bar holding it down to a certain point. On the other side right now, this is not connected. And what that does is that frees this up so I can put this wherever I want it. I'm gonna finish this setup right now. All I have to do is put the coilover in. And also I wanna say it was much easier taking out the bolt all the way at the end there as opposed to this one right here. So I'm gonna put the coilover in, put the little tie rod thing if that's what it's called and it's going to level out to the point where I'm gonna go back on that side, pop the tire off, and pop the tie rod back on. For the coilover, make sure it's a little loose up top. I just have the bolts threaded in just enough to kind of hold it there. And that will allow you to maneuver around a little bit some side to side, and mostly obviously this way, uh, because you're gonna need to have that flexibility to get this through bolt in. This whole assembly, I had my forearm under it like this, I was like on my feet crouched down and I was picking it up. And then with my other hand, I was, I don't freaking know, somewhere back here about to get my arm ripped off, putting that through bolt in. That one in the end was a piece of cake. This is definitely the best way to install these, the rear coilovers. Now I literally just, Slide it down in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's drop the car and go for a ride, boys. I I think we're good. Oh, 
The very last thing I'm gonna do before I take off is make sure that all the lug nuts are torqued to spec, which is 88.5 foot pounds. All right. So babe, what do you think? I don't think you wanna ask me. No, be honest. They're not gonna care if you don't like lowered cars. Be, be honest. Yeah, I don't like lowered cars. If you go and sit in it, it's like you're sitting on the ground. And I didn't even lower it that much. I probably did like an inch and a half or two inches. Here we go. Dude, this is the first time I've ever lowered one of my cars. This feels like a freaking go-kart. It's, it's so hard to explain how close I feel to the ground. This is, it'll take some getting used to. There's something about it. It feels more stiff. And I had my suspension, you know, I had my damper set right in the middle of the 30-way adjustability. Holy crap, boys, we're in business. I actually really like this so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's, she's just uh, a little stiff going over bumps and stuff. I'm only going to give you guys, oh my god. I don't want to race through the neighborhood, but that, it went into that corner so nicely. Oh, I gotta take this out and take a couple turns. Wow. This thing, as usual, is taking forever to warm up. This feels amazing. Okay, wow, that's actually... <laughs> that's really stiff. This is like such a popular YouTube thing to do. Like, you, you almost can't have an automotive vlogging channel like I do and not lower your cars. It's pretty much like unheard of. And somehow I have made it this far without lowering a single car of mine. But you know what? I've been missing out, I will admit. All right, well, here we go. Get her in a second gear. We're gonna go around this roundabout. Oh, what the f What in the heck was that? I wanna do that again. I'm not gonna do any more. Oh my God, we had a little pop there. Let me take this turn pretty aggressively. Oh my, it's like it's on rails. I can't, I do, I do not feel any body roll. I can't believe I've waited this long. I've waited almost 27 years of my life to lower a car. This is a great experience so far. Until I start scraping and <laughs> all that stuff. It barely even tips forward when you brake. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, if there weren't neighbors there, I would try to peel out right here. No, not happening. I actually feel really good about this video because I was learning on camera. I'm sure some of you will appreciate that. Some of you probably are shaking your head, whatever. That's how it goes. I had a great time, everything considered, now that it's all done. I am so happy with the way this looks. Uh, the sun's about to set, so next video, I will be driving the car around, giving my really, really in-depth first impressions, as well as possibly adjusting some of the settings. Yeah, the lighting over here on this side just sucks. So I'll show you right here. Remember, 
before, I had about four fingers. Now it's uh, it's like two fingers at an angle. And in the front, let's see. Yeah, same exact thing. That's such a relief. <laughs> nothing fell off, nothing, I didn't hear anything snap. Knock on wood, where's the wood? Does cardboard count? I'm dead serious, dude. I always have to knock on wood. I'm knocking on my tree. That was about eight to 10 hours of work. Keep an eye open for next video. Next video is gonna be very fun. So I will see you then. Have a nice night.